Folks, there are extreme days and this is just one of them. The question is, on these cold days, are the crappie biting? Well, today we're gonna find out. It's winter fishing at its best. All right, folks, this is the deal. 22 degrees, eight mile an hour wind. <laughs> Obviously we got, got some snow on the ground, but uh, pretty extreme. We're gonna do some extreme live scoping today. And uh, I'm gonna show you that you could catch a lot of crappie in the winter time. <laughs> Okay, it's not ideal, no doubt about it. I don't know how long I'm gonna last. I don't know how long this camera's gonna last because of how cold it is, but uh, we're gonna give it a, a big time try. I'm gonna show you those active captain views and we're gonna compare that also to the new view with this GoPro right here. Hey, check out my fire pit, it's looking pretty sharp. I don't know, I think that turned out pretty well. I had to move my fire pit because we are building our house. That is the reason, but oh my gosh, check this out. Man. We gotta walk gingerly. Oh my gosh. But hey, I bet you those crappie are freaking slamming. I'm about to show you. We're gonna put some slabs in the boat. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have not subscribed, do me a favor, subscribe. That'd mean a lot to me. Let's go do it. Folks, are you considering lithium batteries for your live scope system? I'm gonna give you an update here. Also gonna compare Active Captain to just the GoPro. Stay tuned, a lot going on here. So I do wanna give everybody kind of an update on the Amped Outdoors. If you watch that episode, I'll link it right here above. Uh, I wanna give you an update on how it's going. It's going fantastic. And the first thing my guide trips have been saying is they're amazed by how many volts the monitor has after a full day of guide tripping. So after about seven hours of fishing, it is currently goes down to about 14.7 volts. So right now it is at 16.3. It was at 16.8 when I first turned it on. It does an initial drop is what happens. And then it really slows up through the 15s and it usually settles at 14.7 after seven hours of fishing. So that should give you an idea. I have very comfortable that it, I don't even worry about it anymore, which I think is fantastic. You know that feeling. If you have live scope and you're worried about uh, your battery dying, you know how that feels. That don't feel good. So consider a lithium battery and I'm currently using the Amped Outdoors battery. So no sales pitch people, it's just, freedom of mind. I don't have to think about it or worry about it. So. This is going to be cold, but I can tell you, I guarantee you that there's smoke in it out there. So let's get on the water. Let's do some live scope. I'll show you those awesome views. Let's do it. Hey folks, if you're considering a guide trip with three pound fishing this spring or summer, you need to book now. I'm telling you, it is filling up very quickly. You can get a hold of me at 618-694-5162, but also you can email me at threepoundfishing at gmail.com. Those are your crappie right there, folks. And they're sitting on a ledge and it's not too hard to find them because usually if you just play the wind, and I'd recommend this on any lake. Uh, wow, the reels are really frozen up. I came up really short on that. Check that out. Here it is, falling in. First fish. Now, what I did there, it's a small guy, but what I did there was after you go through a pile, you really want to sit around at that back end because you'll never know. It's always surprising what was watching that whole process and they will hit it as you're exiting. So if you just hurry up and bring it into the boat, a lot of times you perhaps lost the fish. Boom, and there it is. 
Again, you just gotta pay attention. It's time on the water being able to locate your stuff. This is a good fish. Looks like a good, good fish right there. Solid eater right there, good fish. So let me tell you, we're letting these go today, by the way. Let them all go usually all the time anyway. But let me just tell you a little something. So what I've been using in terms of line has been fluorocarbon, right? That's what I've been talking about. K9's fluorocarbon and I still love it. But what I have learned to truly love, and the guide trips have learned this themselves too. Um, I haven't shared it, this is the first time. They have a five pound high vis braid that is unbelievable. And what's the what the advantage is, now don't go over there and just buy them out because I need some myself. Um, it's micro small. It doesn't tangle up as much as a typical braid does. And I can literally, I literally this motion right here gets me about 50 feet out, 45 feet out. And I just think it's amazing. Smoothest stuff I've ever had. And I, I'm not a big proponent of braid until I got into this stuff. And now I'm a huge believer in this product right here. Five pound high vis canine, check it out. dropping in right there. My eyelid has just frozen up, so it kind of stopped. I wonder if we can get one right there. See how it's stopping right there? The guy's coming right up for it. Barely can see it. Oh, I think he did take it for a second. It's so hard in these cold conditions, your eyelids just absolutely freeze up. and. Even in mid, you know, cast, you're, you're, you're freezing up and you can start to feel it. So, yeah. all right, so I'm gonna show you this, this one more time on this view here with GoPro, and then we're gonna compare it to the active captain. People always ask me, they go, how do you get a perfect picture? Well, folks, this is the picture I'm seeing. This is reality. The active captain video, you know, that I do, those are like, they don't have any glare factor. They're really perfect. And that's why I don't want you to thinking that I'm out here with some type of special monitor. I'm not. It's a. It's just Active Captain. It's a. It will give you crisp, clean um, pictures all the time. But it's not what I'm necessarily seeing. I'm seeing this picture right here that you see. This is an 8612. For those that are watching for the first time or haven't seen one of the past videos, um, this should be dropping right in there now. Boom, there he is. All right, that's a small fish. Let's, uh, I'm gonna set you up and, and I'm gonna show you active captain, those same fish, and we kind of have a, you know, apples to apples comparison. Right now you are seeing active captain, the same thing you're seeing on my screen. We are gonna get a huge comparison. This is gonna be fun. So I'm going to scroll out here real quick, see if we can find it. So there's a massive, a massive fish right there. All right, for you guys that like to video your catches, this is going to be fun, okay? So check it out. This is Active Captain. Crisp, clean, what we expect. You know, you don't have to worry about glare. This is definitely not the picture that I'm seeing when I'm actually fishing, but it's always fun to show and share catches with Active Captain. Now here is the GoPro version of that exact same pile. I'm telling you, they're running the same time, same pile. Nothing has changed, but look at the glare factor. Totally different, it's almost grayed out. So here we're gonna go back to the active captain just to, again to show you the how clean it is. And again, it's, it's pristine. So when you're out there or when you're sharing your catch, it's always taken into consideration. Now, I understand completely that active captain is not as easy as putting a GoPro in front of the uh, monitor. And here we are back at uh, the uh, GoPro. But at the end of the day, I think uh, they're both they're both good, I think, to share the experience. But this is reality right here. So he's got it, there it goes. That spooks a lot of fish. Um, if I can get a visual, even if I don't see my bait, but I see that weight. Look at that guy. There it 
is right there. Good fish. Winter fishing. Crazy fishing. Got the fog or the steam, sorry, the steam rolling off the lake. 22 degrees, definitely a five to eight mile an hour wind for sure. That's kind of uh, painful. The reel and everything is freezing up. I mean, eyelets constantly. It's funny, it's not just the eyelets that you can dip into the water, it's the eyelets that are down the chute. I mean, it's like number five and six eyelet. It's crazy. I can't cast this far uh, because, of, because of probably the eyelets. Uh, the braid's obviously taking on some water too. It's like crazy. But we got the lake to ourselves. Here comes our. Oh, that was a dandy. Good fish here. Should be good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you, hear, you hear that rod? <laughs> That's the braid rolling up against these eyelets that are all frozen. Unbelievable. And my old truck is doing something crazy. Solid 13 inch fish right there. That's a great fish. Damn. So we're just gonna venture around here a little bit and see what else we can find. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's a good fish coming at you. Boom, good fish. See, there's no reason not to fish during the winter. If you can take the cold, make sure you wear some gloves. Big fish gonna go in the boat right there. That is a beautiful fish. That's gotta be a 12 and a half, 13 inch fish. Don't get much better than that, folks, right there. Does not get much better than that. Brr, that's a cold crappie right there. Bam! Check it out, folks. Check it out on TikTok. We are now on TikTok. Putting a lot of these big catches there, and it's a lot of fun. That is a solid fish right there. Great deal. Woo! <laughs> Nose is running. Steam's rising. Winds are blowing. Fish are biting. Another one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Three pound fishing elite series rod. Here, let's let this guy go. Folks, 10 footer. Everybody that goes on a guide trip ends up walking away loving the 10 footer. Three pound fishing elite series. They are going to be available at Ozark Rods again here very shortly if they're not already available. So check them out. OzarkRod.com, that's not a sales pitch, it's legit. Let's fish. Let's fish. There we go. That's gonna do it, folks. Cold winter, live scope, view, active captain, some of the secrets that I use, wipe my nose, oh my gosh. 
it's cold out here, but I ain't leaving because it's cold. I'm more of just leaving because it's nasty out. Good fishing. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.